Hi and welcome to another tutorial here. Um, I'm going to kind of go over circles, fillets, and arcs, and ellipses in this video. Um, so we're going to be going over a few different things here and uh, hopefully they all make sense at the end. Um, eventually we're going to get to making a video that will actually go over how to use all these commands to create an object. Um, in fact, there's already videos on the channel, um, but these are kind of newer updated videos using the 2018 software. All right, so let's begin here. Um, and again, we're just going to start off simply with circles. So um, I'm just going to quickly put in a little uh, five by five box deal here. Um, it's just always good to start with something and something with known uh, dimensions, especially when creating one of these tutorials. Leave it to me. Found that one out the hard way. Um, so let's click on circle. So we're just going to click circle right out of the box. Now, by default, the button is circle radius. If you pull down, you have other circle commands in here, but honestly, from just this one command, you can get to most of them that are under there. So I'm going to click circle, and it's going to ask me to specify a point. Again, when it's asking you to do that, it's asking you, where do you want this circle? You can enter coordinates, or for our case, we're just going to pick anywhere we want. Now, the cool thing about the circle command is you don't need to use all these fancy pull downs. Um, if you just pay attention to right here, if you notice, I could switch it to diameter by at any time just by clicking on diameter or hitting D enter. So I can either A enter the radius right now or in that exact same command hit D for diameter and enter that rate or diameter sorry. <laughs> so um, again that one button you can get into multiple things just take a look down here. So not only using the circle can you just do a center point you can also do three point two point or TTR. So I'm going to go to three point now and I'll show you that one. It basically just means I need to know three points like I do here. So I went to the midpoint of all three and got to that circle there. Um, or you can do the two point. So I can hit two enter and that just me, oops, <laughs> accidentally clicked. So let's do a two point circle real quick. And again, that's just me. I know two points and you can kind of see it basically went from there to there. All right. Um, and then the other one that you can do from there is tan tan radius, meaning I have two tangent lines and then I know the radius. Um, so tangent, tangent, and then a radius of one. It'll put a little circle in there. Now, if I wanted to, I can use the trim command real quick here, and I can create this rounded edge. But there's a much quicker way to do this using Civil 3D. Now, I'm also going to go through and do a few other things here. Um, if you have here, you have tan, tan, tan. So if I click tan, 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 that means I have a tangent and another tangent and another tangent. And it's not gonna ask me for a radius because only one radius is actually gonna make all those three tangents work, which you see right there. Um, so real quick, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, just a really quick, easy way um, to kind of get that done. Um, so let's continue here. And we're going to look at uh, another command called fillet. So um, under the fillet command, which is right here, when you click it again, just pay attention to what you have here. Um, first things first, you'll notice the radius is zero. Honestly, you can fill it with a radius of zero, and it'll just create a corner, as you see here. So with a fillet of radius zero, it just creates this lovely right angle here. So um, again, it's not the end of the world. You can fill it with a radius of zero, but what's the point of that? So I'm going to hit R for radius, and I'm going to enter one enter for a radius of one. So now when I do a radius, it'll let me put a rounded corner on this. Now, if I have multiples here, if you notice, I'm no longer in the command. You'll see it's empty. So when I get back into the fillet command again, I have to make sure I hit M for multiple so that I can do them all at once, and I'm not doing each one individually. Um, so that's the fillet command. Um, again, pay attention to the command line and pretty much you can do a lot of things if you just kind of have a heads up and keep watching that command line you can look into certain things here and there. Um, so that's fill it right there. Um, so I'm going to hit escape a few times and get out of that. So from here we have the arc command. The arc command works extremely similar to the circles. And I'm only going to show you one of them but again it's the same thing. If you know the start, the center, and the end of an arc you can use this command to create the arc. If you know the start, the end, and the radius, and the radius is correct, meaning it's the right distance or the right number, 
it'll actually create the radius here as well. And again, if you hover over these things, I don't think I mentioned this in any other videos, if you hover over and leave it for a while, it kind of gives you a preview of kind of the inputs it's going to be asking you for. So I'm going to just do a quick three point, meaning I know three points. So I want to go from the midpoint here to the midpoint here to the midpoint here. And you'll notice it does a quick three point arc if those were the three points I needed to make it through. Um, so again, arcs pretty similar. Um, I don't use them too much in civil engineering, but uh, they're there. And if they are handy for you, there they are. Um, so you also have this ellipse button here. This I've used more in mechanical engineering than I have in civil engineering. Um, but again, the premise is the same between them. I know the center and I know the end, one of the ends. And then I know the width. So again, just kind of pay attention to the command line and it'll kind of show you the difference between all of these commands. So I know both ends. So if I was creating kind of a cylinder, I could put some lines down there and I'd have that cylinder like shape. Um, or if I know the arc, this one's a little bit more complicated. So let's say I knew the center, I knew the end, I knew the width here and I wanted to go from 90. If you notice, it kind of does 90, 90 degree swaps then. So I can kind of create this little part of an arc here. Um, so um, I should say part of an ellipse. So an ellipse is basically multiple arcs kind of that creates an object. Um, I kind of just relate it to an egg-like shape if you look at it. And again, these little down arrows will kind of help you kind of create whatever you're looking for. So that's really a quick, you know, quick way and quick dive into circles, arcs, fillets, and the ellipse command. So um, in the most part, you're going to be using fillets, circles, and arcs, the ellipses. Again, it comes in a lot when you're doing side views of uh, an angled bracket or something along that lines because that circle's not going to look perfectly circle in the angle. So uh, just kind of take a look at it, um, kind of play around with these commands a little bit, and eventually we're going to have a drawing in there. In fact, the drawings already exist. We're going to be updating them, though, with newer drawings that you can actually practice all these commands with. All right, I'll see you guys next time. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe in the bottom right-hand corner. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn anything else about these and maybe I skipped something that you'd like me to go over, put it in the comments section below, and I'll be sure to get to it. Thank you.